character, the NPC will be confused. Franklin, hey kid, you wanna do something? On pulling favors, if you block Tanya's door and then get into the poke. Okay guys, please try and guess this game before I tell you what it is. Some the Dark Side of YouTube, a place I'm sure a lot of you have heard of before. One minute you're watching a video essay about the history of Wii Sports speedrun, and the next you're watching a 50 view analog horror video. A lot of times, just clicking around will lead you down some pretty crazy rabbit holes, some of which will lead you to some very unnerving channels. Some of these channels can be art projects that show just how disturbing certain concepts can be, while other channels hide their own dark secrets. Today, we'll be looking at some of these channels ourselves. From an odd project to one of the most unnerving channels I've ever seen, welcome to the darkest channels on YouTube. This is a fun house feature presentation. Let the entertainment begin! I'm sure pretty much everyone here knows about The Walton Files. If you don't, it's an analog horror series heavily inspired by Five Nights at Freddy's that has created its own cult fan base through its unique art style and great storytelling. So, why am I telling you about this series? Because the first channel, Bond Films, has a very similar, but different, story on its hands that's just beginning to flourish. Out of the 10 videos on the channel, 8 have this Walton file style of production. Despite the similarities between the two channels, the unique atmosphere that this channel is able to create still sets it apart. The common thread between these videos is the emptiness that they make you feel. They harbor a level of tension that keeps you focused on every little thing that's going on. Although I won't be analyzing this series, I have enough analysis videos coming up as it is, I will explain what the series is about. In the mid-1970s, a I know this whole video is extremely controversial, but this could probably be the genuine postal dude reaction to the 24th century. I'm not trying to offend anyone with this video, nor make people mad. I hope you don't start to cry about this video on the comments. Because if you do, I will probably just ignore the fuck out of you. I hate cancel culture. I don't understand the 21 century humor. Based? Based on what? The fucking internet? How does that make people laugh? How the fuck does a metal pipe sound make people laugh? Literally just a fucking melon and people are laughing their asses off. I don't understand the man, I'm dead joke. What the actual fuck is a furry? They dress with animal suits like animal fursuits? I- Oh god. Why do they look like anthropomorphic animals? Are furry zoophiles? And I thought I was the sick fuck around here. I swear to god. I sometimes fear people around me even though I'm a fucking psycho sometimes. I swear. If I ever see another of you furry bastards. I'm gonna shoot you and mince your meat to then give it to your own dog. I hope you didn't fuck the dog, you twisted fuck. Why did guys started to become so feminine out of a sudden? What the fuck is a femboy? Did men really became feminine because of social media? I'm gonna be fucking sick if I see one more of those... femboys. Masculinity doesn't exist anymore. What the fuck is wrong with these women? I already know feminism and what it was all about, but these sacks of shit want power, not equality. 
Men fear of getting canceled for insulting women. But when women do it, they just say that it's men's fault. I don't even want to be around women at this point. Minecraft is a game of enormous creativity. The world is a canvas, the blocks are the paint, and the player is the art. Yet the Minecraft world is not static. Even as the player does nothing, things happen in the world. Sheep eat grass, mobs spawn and die, lightning strikes the earth, and trees burn. Random events occur even without the player. The canvas has a life of its own. But what if there never was a player? What would happen if we let the Minecraft world run forever by itself? random movements and events unencumbered by the will of a human being controlling an avatar. Could anything interesting ever happen? Let's consider such a world. We won't worry about the obvious practical limitations of infinite time, such as processing power or memory concerns. We'll also assume that this is an environment where chunks are loaded, such as on a server. With that, the stage is set. We now boot up our world, and we watch. To begin, there's really not much to see. Animals walk around, villagers go about their routines, mobs spawn during the nighttime. The world is as we expect. Everything that we see is apparently no different to an average gameplay session. However, despite this mundanity, there is one important result worth mentioning. With infinite time, mobs that move around could eventually move to whichever block we want. It doesn't matter how far away this block is, all that matters is that they have a path to it. Since mobs take random paths, their movement is predicated on a random number generator. If we generate enough times, we'll eventually get the correct sequence for wherever we want these mobs to go. Do we want to get a creeper on top of a jungle temple? Do we want the husk on a mountaintop? By rolling the dice enough times, this will eventually happen. Remember, time is not a problem here. We're not looking at what's likely. With an infinite amount of time, that doesn't matter. Instead, we're looking at what is possible. A skeleton taking a trek across the world to a certain block 